Hello friends, welcome back to our course Math for Machine Learning and in today's video we are going to look into the angles between vectors and we will see also about the dot product between vectors which will give us uh, the intuition to calculate the angles between the two vectors. Alright, so let us consider two vectors say v equal to v1 and at this point of time I will just take this as 0 for convenience, I will show you why and then and w as w1, w2. Now, the shape of this one is 2 rows and 1 columns and this one is also 2 rows and 1 columns. So, that means, if I have to take the multiplication between these two vectors, then what I need is basically have to transpose this that means this because remember we have to make sure that the inner labels should match for multiplication so i can simply write this as v vector transposed transposed is nothing but your rows and rows becomes columns and column becomes rows right and this becomes w so in this case now my element would be v1 times w1 plus 0 times w2 which is the normal multiplication that we do and this becomes v1 w1 right. Now, I could have had more elements right and what I can understand from here is the dot product between two vectors is the summation of the multiplication of all the elements. Ok, so now if I had more elements say v is equal to v1, v2 and so on till vn and if I had another vector w which is having elements w1, w2 till wn then I would do the dot product would be nothing but the v transpose times w and this will be nothing but v1 w1 plus v2 w2 and so on till vn wn which I can then write it as summation of v1 vi times wi and i can go from 1 to n. So, hope this makes clear. Okay. So, now that we have the concept of our dot product clear so, I will just write it in the corner here. So, V times W the dot product basically is nothing but the summation of all the elements of V and W and, and the product between them. So, I will just write I as well here just for clarity ok and this is n. ok. So, remember the example that we took where V was equal to V 1 comma 0 and then we had w as w 1 w 2. Now, if I try to plot v the vector v in my x axis for example, x axis and y axis because it is two values. So, I can take x and y axis. So, v 1 is say up till here and it is 0 on the other side. So, that means the vector v is lying along the x axis. So, this is v 1 comma 0 and w 1 w 2 probably could be lying say, say somewhere here. Okay. So, this is w 1 comma w 2. Okay. Now, why I am interested in finding the angle between these vectors. Okay. Now, why do I need to calculate this angle? We will see later on with examples as well that this helps actually reduce the number of dimensions when we have too many extra dimensions in the data set and this concept uh, of trying to find the angle between the vectors will help us uh, determine whether we should keep that retain that column or not and that is how it relates to machine learning right. We want to reduce, reduce the number of dimensions in our data set. Okay. So, now in order to calculate this angle, I first what I would like to do is I will just to drop this line point here, so that I can calculate the length of this portion. Okay, 
and uh, this will be nothing but this component here of w i can write it as w1 is nothing but the length of this uh, vector here which will be which i can call as w and this can be the euclidean norm or the l2 norm and the angle cos theta okay so we know that from trigonometry that cos theta is nothing but your base upon hypotenuse and in order to calculate the base it will be hypotenuse times the cos of theta and in this case hypotenuse is nothing but the norm of the vector and the angle between them okay hope this makes clear okay so that means my w1 is, is equal to this and we know that the dot product between these two vectors vw is nothing but v1 times w1 as we have seen in you know just little while ago and v1 times w1 i have just calculated which is nothing but the norm of w times cos of theta now because we are calculating angle between them so this can be also written as norm of v1 because just because of the symmetrical reason so what we get then is cos theta is is equal to if i just rearrange the terms so it is the dot product of these two divided by the norm of v i can simplify just by saying norm of v and times the norm of w okay and the angle theta is nothing but arc cosine of this dot product v w okay divided by the norm of v norm of w so that is all we are interested to calculate what is the angle between these two vectors and in our next video we will see that this helps us in calculating the orthogonality of the vectors and which will help us determine whether we should keep a column or not and that's how we can reduce the number of columns which we don't need in our data set for while doing machine learning so hope you have learned something new today have a great day and please subscribe and like uh, our videos thank you